Hi, I'm the Termite Guy, and I'm here to help you prepare your home for fumigation. Let's see what we need to do. First step, water the soil and plants up to 18 inches from the outer walls of your home to protect outdoor plants and shrubs. Let's not get distracted, Dad. Now, cut back foliage, shrubbery, and landscaping at least 18 inches from the structure to allow room for tarps. Oh, wow. That's impressive, but not necessary. Now let's go to the garage. Cars and vehicles may be left inside your garage, but must be fully accessible. Okay, that's also unnecessary. We just need you to roll down all windows. Much better. Move all potted plants at least 18 inches from the outer wall to allow room for tarps. This includes removing all plants from your home as well as those on the outdoor patio. Is that a real plant? Just checking. Let's head inside. Remove mattresses completely enveloped in plastic, such as baby mattresses with waterproof covers. Open drawers, cabinets, closets, and safes. This will allow the fumigant gas to pass through every space. Make arrangements for overnight accommodations for you, your family, and pets, as the fumigation takes three days and two nights. Wait, you're supposed to be looking for a hotel. Let's not get distracted, Mom. Before fumigation, start cooking or eating the food in the house so you'll have less food to bag. What? All this prep work makes me hungry and the food has to go somewhere. Grandma's doing her part. The next part of the video is very important. Please pay attention. Only use Nylofume bags. We will provide these to you. While bags are still empty, place one inside another. Now fill the inner bag with your items. Do not overfill. Bag all foods, medicines, and ingestible items that have been previously opened or that do not have a factory seal. This includes spices in the cabinet or spice rack and food in the refrigerators and freezers. Food items in cans, glass jars, plastic and glass bottles with the original factory seal do not have to be removed. All corked wine bottles need to be stored on their sides. Grandma, are you going to finish that wine? If not, we have to double bag it. Any other food and medicines in plastic containers, bags, or cardboard boxes must be double bagged even when the factory seal is intact. Don't forget, sweetener packets, condiments, or Keurig cups must be double bagged. After the inside bag is full, twist the top and double it over. This is called a gooseneck, secured with tape to seal. Repeat this procedure with the outer bag. Test the bag by gently pressing against the bag and checking for air leaks. No air should be able to escape. You can leave the bags on your counter. Once you have double bagged all the items in your fridge and freezer, you may leave them there during the fumigation process. It is helpful to take the shelves out first. For security purposes and your peace of mind, we recommend that you install indoor security cameras with motion sensors. If you do choose to leave your alarm on, we will need the deactivation code. On the day of fumigation, evacuate all people and pets from the structure. See, that wasn't so hard after all. If you have any questions, call 877-TERMITE or 877-837-6483. Thank you for watching.